Stephen is a big man. He is a big man and an imposing man. He looks very strong, very tall. He was a thing of huge appetites. Everything he did, he did with an enormous amount of passion. Uh, yeah, I will to say that now I have everything. I just think it had conflicting results. I was cast in the film The Glimmer Man, which starred Steven Seagal and Keenan Ivory Wayans. I was working the first day of the movie, first day, and John Gray, the director, comes in to my trailer and says, so, how's everything going? I go, well, fine, John, fine. We're having a problem. I, I go, what's wrong? He says, well, Steven Seagal has had a spiritual sort of crisis and sort of a spiritual awakening. He decided that he doesn't want to kill people anymore in movies. I can't fight, man. What do you mean you can't fight? It's a fine time to tell me now. Warner Brothers is very upset. They say, Stephen, I understand what you're doing, but you dance with who brung you. You kill people really good. Hey. And in this movie, you have to kill people. And he doesn't want to do it. The problem is, in the scene, I was playing a serial killer, and the whole scene is about him killing me. So John says, Stephen, Stephen Seagal is going to try to convince you not to kill you in this scene. Don't get into a conversation with him. Whatever you do, don't talk to him. He has to kill you. I mean, it's the first day of shooting. This is very difficult for all films and actors. You know, you, they want to see good footage the first day. I said, well, I'll steer clear of Stephen. So we got called to the set, and that was the first time I met Stephen on the set. And he came up to me, and he had that cool persona that, so uh, what do you think about this scene? And I was saying, well, Stephen, it's a pretty hard-hitting scene. In this scene, by the way, I play a serial killer, and I grab a priest, and I threaten to blow his head off, and then Stephen comes in and ends up murdering me. So I, I said, Stephen, it's a pretty intense scene. He says, I think it would probably be better if I don't kill you. I, I said, I, I hear you. And Stephen says, I think it's just bad that we keep putting this violence into the world. I mean, we're creating a sicker and sicker society by putting this, this kind of thing out into the world. I, I said, I understand that, Stephen, but this case may be an exception. I'm looking at my life as a serial killer, and I feel I am trapped in this broken soul that I'm inhabiting. And it would really help me in terms of my reincarnational development if you could kill me, and then I would be able to leave this body and actually transcend into a better life, into a better body you would actually be helping. So I would be giving you a helping hand? I said, oh, you'd be giving everybody a helping hand. You'd be removing evil from the world. You'd be giving me a new chance at life in a new body sometime in the near future. I never thought of it that way. Ah, uh, all right, I'll kill you in this scene. I, I can't, you don't understand. Go ahead and kill me! Kill me! I dare you, kill me! Do it now or I will kill you! You believe it? One. This is Two. God's house. Don't make me do this. Please. Don't. Three! And then... And I fall out of frame. Two months later, I get a phone call from John saying, we have a problem. Stephen started ad-libbing in the rest of the film how he's glad he didn't kill the guy in the church. Uh, is there some way you could come back in and in ADR make it seem like you're not dead? So I go back in and I'm going to loop a scene and Keenan Ivory Wayans is standing next to me. He's watching what I have to loop. So this is what they have. They have me backing up to camera, Stephen pulling up a gun, firing, my entire chest explodes, like my heart explodes, like blood flies out at the camera and I fall out of frame and smoke rises into the thing as Steven Seagal walks into the shot and John Gray whispers, now right here, if you could say something 
to make it sound like you're still alive. I said, say something to make it sound like I'm still alive. Like, it's just a flesh wound. I mean, it was like an Austin Powers moment. I'm still alive, only I'm very badly burned. I ended up shouting up, finish me off, you son of a bitch. Come on, don't leave me like this. Kill me. It was horrible. Keenan Ivory Wayans just looked at me and said, man, now we are in the realm of high comedy. And he walked off. In the end, I think they just left it to where Stephen killed me. I think they cut out all of my, my extraneous lines. 